Cody? I'm sure I'm recording. What if I go home and none of this is recorded? Yeah, you don't need it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Talking About Kayaks. We're right here somewhere in the middle of Hialeah and we're comparing oranges to apples because these boats are not the same, but hey, they want your money, so let's go ahead and compare it. Right here we got the Jackson Nar new boat. It's probably gonna win uh, boat of the show at ICAS, maybe, who knows? I mean, it depends who uh, who pays the most, right? No? <laughs> well, we won Blue Sky, and I promise you we don't have any money, so. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we got the Old Town Autopilot. Full disclosure, this is my favorite boat, and the reason why it's my favorite, because I don't have to do anything to it. I could just take it on the water, plug in the battery. Yes, you have to buy a battery. Just like you have to put gas on your car, right? It doesn't come with gas, anyways. But it's so easy to use that I could put anybody on it. And it's super stable. But let's go ahead and compare this two. Let's start with the elephant in the room, right here. See, it looks like an elephant. I don't even know what that means, but anyways, it's fun to say it. We got a trolling motor right here. Not just any trolling motor, but an iPilot unit with spot lock and autopilot, hence the name. And this one does require a battery, Ampout or Lithium batteries for the win, guys. Use coupon code ALIAS5. It's gonna save you 5%. It'll also help the channel. And right here, we got human power. You could literally go forever if you have enough calories to, to run the boat. So that is the main difference between these two boats. One is better at certain things, the other one is better at other things. Like, hey, Jameson. You had these two boats on the water. I did. Now this one is the competition. And that one is your baby. <laughs> but I know you are an honest guy, so I want you to tell me two things. What is the best and the not so best part of each boat? It's really hard to say that there's a bad part of any kayak. There are so many good kayaks on the water and there's a lot of good brands out there. And I think Old Town makes an excellent boat. And it was actually pretty cool to get to spend some time in it today while you were pushing the gnar around and Maybe you'll be behind. hopefully i won't get in trouble it, it was fast i will say this new drive Dude, you're already fired fast. man it's over <laughs> i'm over can you hire me can i work for for, for you? me 100 percent. you're good you're good we just need to make so, more but money it, it's true there's a lot of things that i could say good about both boats and i think there's some benefits to one over the other and it just depends on really what you're doing um what i liked about the the old town here and the autopilot was the fact that it has just that it has uh, the motor you know that comes with the boat and so that's really nice especially if you're going to stand up and you've got a lot of wind or whatever uh, you can control the boat you can anchor the boat you just have to add a battery and you can kind of pick whichever battery you want unless you're watching alex's channel and then you better pick amp outdoors amp outdoors because that's who he works with but anyway you kind of pick what battery you want whether it's lithium or deep cycle uh, and you're off to the races i would say if there is a con, I think that I do like the option in the NAR. Now it's it's a more expensive boat uh, to have you know a really efficient pedal drive. So if you are going to tournament fish and you want the ability to go back and forth between tournaments that you know don't allow motors, you can have an efficient pedal drive system. Versus, I don't think I would really want to paddle this kayak. I think it was designed to be a motorized boat, and if that's what you need, then this is a pretty cool package. But with this one, again, if you're a tournament angler and you want a lot of options, we did make and build the boat so that it could have a bow mount rig and have the same fun functionality that you get over here with the autopilot by adding that motor, but it is an add-on. You can also go off the back with power poles or uh, with the power pole mount, you can put whatever kind of motor that you want back there. We have the Torquedo on it today. So you have a lot of options as far as how to rig this boat up. I think another thing I really like about this one is with the tri-track going throughout, it really allows you to rig the boat however you want and whatever suits your needs. But they're very different boats, so it's not really apples to apples here. And I think that the best thing to do, no matter what brand boat that you're looking for or even looking at, is to get out there and test them and kind of see what fits your needs best. Because what the boat that might be perfect for what I do may not be perfect for what you do, and this might be a better option. And I was pretty impressed with it. So, um, again, I think oh a lot of... Oh my God, you said you were impressed. You're fired. I was impressed You're fired. I mean, it's done. it is it's what over. it is. It's over, uh, man. I like my boat better, but obviously I like Jackson Kayak. I've been with Jackson Kayak for a long time, so... But I can't, I, you know, there's a lot of great companies out there and a lot of great boats out there. And I think you just have to find what works best for you. And this one we designed to really be that versatile platform, that tournament platform, 
or to be able to take it offshore and handle really big water. Um, you got deep gunnels, it's going to be quick on the water and it's really going to handle that stuff well and allow you to rig it any way you like. But yeah, I mean, if you can compare these two boats, there's the closest I can get you. I can't you know really, let, let me do I it. can't let say me... anything negative about either one of them, to be honest with you. I think that, uh, I think they're both great. Dude, you killed it. But now <laughs> it's my turn. I'm going to walk you through the whole boats. Is, is that how you say it? Probably not. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, look at this. You got a tiny little hash right here to get access to these connections, which by the way, they're gonna rot and things are gonna happen if you use it on salt water. Over here, we got a giant hatch. It allows you to actually tinker here and add this piece. Cause you could actually put an iPod or unit right there and have the same thing. Plus you have the drive. Now everything is money in life, dude. Cause if you put the iPod unit and the battery and the price of the boat, this is more than a real boat. <laughs> So it's gonna cost you money, but you have the option. We already covered the tournament. Like if you are a tournament guy, this is probably gonna be better for you because a lot of tournaments don't allow motors. But look at the deck space. I see an advantage here. You have room because the motor is so way up front and you don't have the drive like you have over there. So you have room to actually do stuff. Like if you wanna fly fish and things like that. And this boat actually comes in at 136 size. So you have even more room which that one is a more compatible boat because this one over here is almost 14 feet long and the other one is 13 and a half. So really, this is more like not even oranges to apple, it's like um, pears to apples. Cherries. Cherries, one of those things. <laughs> now we, so, yeah, something like that. All right, so we got gear tracks right here, but they're like, I mean, this old town gear tracks, they're not the best at all. I don't like them. They work, but I don't like them. Over here, you got amazingness. Those gear tracks are pretty awesome. Good job, bro. <laughs> it was a group effort. No, it, you, bro, <laughs> come on. I did fight, I did fight hard to have track throughout the entire boat. I will admit to that, but it was a group effort and our R&D team killed it by being able to bend the tracks and make them look really built into the boat, but still very functional. Good job, bro. Appreciate that. Now the seat, they're comfy and you have high and low sitting position on each of them. They have their own mechanism. So, you know, the old town comes with a battery box. All you have to do is put the battery in, plug it in, it's ready to go here. You could put a battery in the front or you could put it on the back, but you have to do the rigging and rigging kayaks like this. If you're not, you don't know what you're doing. It's going to take you time. It may cost you money. That's that's main selling point right here in the rear. Look at this, the NAR, you could put anything in the rear. You could put a Torquedo, you could put a Bisbee, you could put any motor. Over here, you're gonna have to MacGyver something because there's not a simple way to put a trolling motor in the rear. Although I've seen people put 2.5 Suzuki's on this thing in the rear. And guess what, we're gonna do that. Giant time well right here on the Old Town. You don't have that much of a time well here because of the design. The battery goes in there if you want to use a battery. So it's a design decision and doesn't make it better or worse. You got to get what works for you. Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. Forgot something very special. <laughs> Raw storage. Yeah, that is one of the key, I think, benefits to this boat is that you do have room for six rods down each side on the gunnel. Right and, that, and that's really big for the tournament guys that want to keep their rods protected inside the boat if you're going under low hanging trees or whatever, or you just, a lot of tournament guys bring a lot of rods. If you're bringing a lot of rods, more rod storage. So there you go. Now, this is not a comparison review. This is just us talking about what we see in front of us. So whatever conclusions, make your own conclusion. We're not telling you which one is better. Although he tried, cause he doesn't want to get fired. Uh, but hey, make your own decision. <laughs> We're out of here. <laughs>